Hi there, I'm John from cncri.com and today we're going to make a custom jig for Roland LEF 300. When it comes to custom jig production, I've tried literally everything for use internally here in the shop and also for my customers. When I first started making jigs for my laser, I'd make them out of acrylic because I thought acrylic is a very nice material, it cuts very well. What I didn't account for is after a year or two it starts to uh, crackle and get very brittle and actually break on you. So I stopped using acrylic. So then I went to a thicker acrylic, so a quarter inch acrylic or even half inch acrylic depending on what the spec for the job I was doing. And I found each step of the way they're just the most awful material to use for the applications that I use it for. When I started making custom uh, jigs for UV printers, I, I got a lot of people saying, well, we always got our jig made out of X material. Can you make them out of X material? And I would say, absolutely no problem, and we'll do that for you. And through the years, I found that every material has a plus and a minus when it comes to uh, jigs for lasers, routers, you name it. They're all basically the same idea. The goal of a jig is just to hold the material at the same position so that, you know, you print one project here, you take it out, you put another one, and it's exactly the same spot. That is worth gold. Even with my laser, UV printer, it doesn't matter what the technology is. The first step of that is actually doing some testing. So the customer would send me off a uh, USB in this case here, and I just try to get the fit to fit perfectly. So I just have maybe, I'd say maybe half a mil of play XY, and Z, I don't really care about at all. In this case, here's a USB drive. If you look at it, you'll notice there's a little bit of an indent at the tip here. I don't care about that. All I want is this thing here to fit in the jig. And if this guy sticks out, that's fine by me. It also allows the opportunity for the customer, if they want, to do things on both sides. But I've really optimized it for one orientation, and it works wonderfully for this application. Now when it comes to a custom jig for UV printer like this here, what's worth a lot of money is not the material, it's actually getting a jig that works. If you look at all of this here, the customer has wasted hundreds and hundreds of USBs like this here, getting jigs done elsewhere that just would not be properly aligned, would fall apart, would start to warp, you name it. And that is worth gold because you got to waste a lot of uh, USB drives before you realize that this jig's no good and you need a better one. customer specifically they already had little pins they had a little pin table and as you can see here is a little pin to get the focus working it's a small little pin roughly uh, one eighth uh, diameter or three millimeters and if you notice on the jig I have 
a little hole here, a little hole here. Now generally that would be totally fine, but I just decided to make another little hole at the bottom here, and another one here. This means that your precision, when you take this out and you load it up and you put another one in, is 100%. Unless these pins here all move in unison, all four of them, there's no reason why you can't do this a thousand times, put it in, out, in, out, in, out. And that's what I found here with my laser whenever I do uh, projects where there's a lot of volume involved. I, I don't really care what the material of the jig is made of. I just got to make sure that the jig is flat for one thing. Because if there's a little bit of warping to it, for the laser specifically, uh, you end up with problems with the focusing because the results are based off the fo focusing cone. Now with the UV printer it's a little bit different. You don't have a focusing cone. But what you do have is distance between the printer head and what you're UV printing. Now if this goes up up or down one mil on a UV printer, I don't think it makes a difference. It makes a difference for my laser. But when I make custom jigs for UV printers, my spec isn't the UV printer spec. My spec is laser spec. And if, it's, if it works great for the laser, it's going to be mind-blowing for a UV printer. So if you're going for a custom UV printer jig, contact me at cncri.com. I can make stuff for any brand, any size, any shape, doesn't really matter. You can also make combination jigs. So let's say you have a Roland 300, LEF 300. You can have half of it like this here for USBs, the other half for golf balls, whatever you want. Just let me know and we'll make the jig and ship it right to your door.